So it's now the Albanians' fault. After the Afghan refugees and before that the Syrians and probably before that the Jamaicans, we're now having to uh, put all the blame on everything that's happening on Albanians because of course it's the Albanians who uh, badly manage the economy leading to the hyperinflation that is has resulted in the cost of living crisis we're going through today. In fact, it's the Albanians who caused the credit crunch of 2008 and didn't provide uh, sufficient uh, policies, banking policy, to stop bankers from doing the exact same mistakes all over again. It's the Albanians who slashed the police budget, resulting in an increase in crime rates across the country. It's the Albanians who clearly reduced the budget of the NHS and are starting to part privatise it, leading to poorer health service across the country. It's the Albanians who partied during lockdown while the average Briton couldn't visit their dying relatives in care homes or even bury suitably their dead. In fact, it's everyone except the politicians who were causing this current crisis. Please note that when you're perpetuating the myth about immigration, and that's not to say you can't have a normal conversation about immigration, but when you're focusing exclusively on immigration, you're only exonerating the politicians who are responsible for the mess we're currently in.